how many ships do in the field. What's up everybody? Hello and welcome back to 2205 Revolution. Back here we have our spaceport ready to upgrade. The only thing before we have a connection to space is that the Orbital Watch has actually invaded a sector and we need to free that first. Before we go there, however, I want to check that everything here is right. What I can see is that, well, rice is probably not looking the best. So we should have another rice plantation. Lucky for us, we do have a bit more space over here. So let's have another rice farm here that we can squeeze in here just beside the main road and as we can see we can then squeeze more of these vitamin extractors just along the road here that's fine that's a bit more rice and that means that we can upgrade our people a bit more so let's upgrade away those guys here new blueprints are available because of that also here and here those guys here perhaps i just love upgrading and more blueprints now that we have enough population here that is 2000 we have unlocked adam here so that is um the global or well the training center that starts the space shuttles then for the orbital station that we can build ourselves but that is far away because that just requires an absurd amount of um, resources let's go into space and have a look that we have the intervention bunch of rats laying hand on our ships give them hell Give them hell. And in that case here, yeah, we're starting out with a small fleet. We cannot upgrade anything yet. We just can accept the mission. In that case, those missions are repeatable with higher difficulties, earning us more rewards. With that, we can upgrade our fleet if we want to. But let's accept the mission. And then it's loading up. There. That's where the bleeding cowards attack us. Still circling our cargo ships like a swarm of black flies. And I see they brought reinforcements. Gotta be careful. I've seen them before. They've no compunctions at all. Press past their blockade and free our ships. I got your back. Roger, here we are. Our mission is destroy the Orbital Watch commandos to free the hijack transport ships. And we would get some Iridium, Graphene and Combat Experience. The Iridium and Graphene are exclusive items that you can only, or materials that you can only get here really. Right, and this is our first starter fleet that we have as a company. And that we got the first ships now. In that case, we need to look out for them. Let's have a look. Over there they are. There is one of them at least, I think. Oh no, we need to destroy those three there. Don't worry, my drones will fix that. All right, there's another quest we here. An this one here wants me to find landmines. So mines are really quite vengeance. valuable. The materials are quite expensive. What are ways having them explode? So this is Cassian Industries. They want me to get some of the mines that we can Underway. find here. And for some additional rewards. Battle stations. Right, and what we can see is that those enemies, they drop something. In this case, they dropped some fuel. And we can use that fuel here, down here, for special um, actions then. For example, a missile barrage, which really just destroys ships at, at an instant. Um, we also have some support fleets, so additional ships come in um, for a short period of time. We have the EMP pulse, which is stunning enemies um, for a period of time. Very useful against the dreadnoughts. And then we have some support actions like... Um, a drone. So in this case here, this was almost down. Coordinates confirmed. I don't know, we got re we got kind of repaired there by this ship here, but we could repair our fleet. We could also give a, them a Full shield so they're not taking any damage for a bit of time. And we can have a mine instead that destroys the ships. In that case, more ships here. Dropping Target us some fuel so we can use the repair. Not in lads and I can't fix. And I think over here we have another mission. Nick Papadakis. Such goods are usually a little more regulators will both keep quiet. A deliver one EM pulse to him. And I think we do have that. Or where should I find that? So how's our little project? Do we need to kinda like Oh no, we don't have that. EMP pulse. We need to find it. I think there it, it's there it is. Right? There it is. Any news on that job yet? And let's deliver that to this assignment here. Unloading and finished. deliver it. And with that we can get some nice bonus points there. here. That is the Smooth, iridium. Efficient. Let's continue. So those are some special actions right away without the, the cost for fuel. 
Battle fuel station. only costs those those actions here, so the repair and the, the shield. Those are items more or less that we can use. Weapon systems Let's online. attack the mines here, so that will then just explode them. Very nice. Battle stations. And over here, there's the tower. And let's continue. Another mission. Use the repair drone five times. We can do that, of course, as often as we like, as long as we have enough fuel. And I think for such an easy mission here like that, it's easy. Go. Oh, and then we almost lost the ship of ours. Repair systems online. There's the next one down. We get a missile barrage here that we can use then. Quite useful. Copy that. Let's continue over here. There they are already. I think we're going... We're heading right straight for them. And there, let's use the barrels, the missile barrage. Going down on them, as we can see. It's taking a lot of damage. Let's put a shield on my ships. Let's actually put a pulse on them as well. So this will stun them now. And then we can use another barrage on them. It's only that, that ship here now. All hands engage. And there we have well done. freed the transporter. Sweeping in and saving the day. Our crews will thank you for it. And we get our statistics here. Our experience points. We're still military level one. With the next level up, we could then probably yeah, upgrade one of uh, this ship here, for example, and unlock more ships so our fleet grows over time, of course. I'm glad you came back unharmed. This attack gave everyone at the Union headquarters shock, but the program has to go on. We've lost contact to Lunar Excavation Corp. It seems many moon colonies aligned with the Orbital Watch. It's all the more important your space elevator goes into operation. And it will. So now we can finally finish the construction here. It does cost us graphene. And we have enough of that. Cable firmly attached. Elevator car ready for departure. Attention. Approaching Global Union Space Station. Prepare for docking. Absolutely beautiful station there. And we are now in contact and we does have also access for example to the global trade the market step into space. which is All online views of the global economy are now accessible for you phase two of the lunar licensing program starts now i'm way too old for adventures like that gonna pass next time so you better make sure you got a decent battle fleet stop by the dockyard if you want any ships built or revamped on that i will do that show unfulfilled demand for specific commodities before we continue, however, with the next goals, what actually new goal do we have? Enter the Arctic region. Already, the Arctic. Open the strategy map and enter that. For now, let's continue building our little town here a bit more. So in that case... No, we cannot squeeze that in here. So let's try to squeeze in three of them. Right, and then a block of smaller residences here. So it doesn't look too cramped there. Here we can actually have some ornaments then on the side. The same with this one here. Should look a bit better than overall. And of course, we can then upgrade them once again. Very important to get a bit of additional tax income therein. There we get the new blueprints. Just as I said. And we have unlocked, for example, now the rejuvenators. And still not the police station though, which would be another ornament then another service building that we need now that's nice so we are pretty much done with this smaller village here of course a bit of my money wouldn't be bad actually we have a nice balance let's enter the arctic region as they In say the arctic all your actions will fall under the supervision of the arctic custodians let's so our first expansion territory. to another territory and this is getting then really complex as you can see when all of these territories are working together they're going to have their specializations products only they produce and workforce is going to be a problem and stuff like that but that's for the future that's just a prospect giving you a little bit of what you can expect we have reached level six of our company 
a bit of more money there. We do need it. And yeah, we can choose now one of the three sectors here. So we have the Aki of Lowe's, the Ikuma Glacier, and the King Guide Protectorate. And each one of them has different things. So this one here, for example, has the most building space. The Aki of Lowe's has 14 mountain, uh, mountain building sites, 26 coastal building sites, and a project for logistics, which is the Arctic Trade. Here we have the project for rare materials, the last reserves, and project for ornamentals, the climate protectors. Now in that case, I think we're going with the Archeo Flow since it offers a lot of building space. And climate change? Farming requires less logistics, but heavy industry facilities have higher maintenance. And heavy industry gives us a positive credit maintenance of plus 15 there. Let's take it. Welcome to phase two of the Lunar Licensing Program. You are now authorized to enter the Arctic region and access its deposits of rare resources to implement new means of galactic travel. Your official contact person will give you more information. Right, so only in the Arctic we can get some certain resources that we need for our space program. Let's get over there. It's the Arctic Custodian's climate stabilization technology that keeps the temperatures below zero here. I'm Dr. Howard Young. I speak for the Arctic Custodians. First, allow me to be clear. We expect you to abide by our directives at all times. The Arctic ecosystem is very delicate. Respect these rules and we'll get along just fine. All right, time to make some improvements. And here Not we are. exactly a warm welcome, but let's just proceed with phase two. First we step here in the Arctic, we need to take land. So we have to establish a base of operations on one of these islands. I think this Set is a beautiful one with lots of space. Want, all of the islands are suitable. I hope this helps you. Right, so each one of them has... To, oh, this one has lots of space though. I, sh I think we should go with this one here. Confirmed. Lots of space, lots of mountain sites, as far as I can see. One, oh, wait a second. One, two, three, four. No, this if doesn't belong to us. Center here, I can officially sign the island over to you. It's only three. Three mountain sites. I think this one here has more to offer. This is one, two. Has it? Three, four. Four mountain sites. It's very important those mountain sites. Let's actually have it here. Way. Also, we have lots of space Yo, here for a big sorry base. My colleagues are kind Let's of get over here. Cold shoulder. Billy Organson, nice to meet you. I run a trading post here, but business, yeah, just consider dropping by, okay? Please. So he is one of the neutral AIs that we have. So here wow. he is, and he, we can basically buy hole. goods from him or sell him goods that we have in surplus, for example, for additional credits that we'll need. And let's claim the area. With the acquisition of this island, you earned the mining rights for this area. The Arctic custodians will watch you like a hawk from now on. Oh, and I so love the buildings. The directives are strict, but you should adhere to them while building up your basic infrastructure. The heating standards alone will be a challenge. Right, so one thing that we have here now in the Arctic is heating. Obviously, it's a very cold place. And heating is the m major problem that we have with our Arctic dwellings here. So, first of all, what we need to do for those poor souls that actually live here is we need to build a few dwellings for them. And we get the first basic heat from our warehouse here. So, let's build like four of them. Thanks, very livable. If you don't mind the cold. And there they are in those dwellings. That's the first stage. Of course, we can upgrade those guys then as well. Right, so build arctic dwelling, 4 out of 10 we have, produce canned food, produce the metal foam. Let's start with the metal foam, so that is our building resources, and for that we do need the mining site, so that we have the aluminium mine coming up. Which produces heat of its own again, has this radius, and then we have the compression chamber, which is the foam production. And yeah, in this case here, while I want to keep the factories away in my main town, in the... temperate climate I want to actually keep them close to my factories in the Arctic because of the heat levels here so let's have let's have a look let's build two here and then we can build our factory here right so this one now so takes give off heat or gives them heat so we can place more of them here then but without insulation materials the effect would evaporate 
There we have this first building here. Nice one. We produce it now. In what ratio? I think we can have another module. That is fine. And then we can have another module here. Something like that. Right. -o. Workforce is low. Workforce is a major problem in the Arctic all the time. Let's have those buildings here. Give me a bit of workforce there again. Here we can now see the world market prices that we have in the world market. So the world market is really affected by the players playing the game. You know, the more people um, trade, for example, rice, of course the price fluctuates for that. If lots of people want the vitamin drinks, then prices go up for that. Stuff like that. And you can trade around there as well if you want to. Attention. Constructor bots, for example, prices have gone down. So it might make sense to purchase some of that if we have or if we need. Now, that's one thing. Um, I think the fish is going down now. Yep, the canned food. We desperately need that. So we do need a site here. Let's take this one. For the fishes. Let's have a street going all the way there. There we produce it now. Let's have one module for now. Right, we can have two more modules here then. And then we can have the cannery. And there's a container. Now let's use the cannery once again then here for the energy, uh, for the heat that we have here. So in that case, we might just squeeze it in. Let's build the dwellers here first. Then we have the cannery up here. I've never eaten real fish in my life. The polar regions are the only places on Earth where you can still find it in harvestable quantities. Fine, your settlement seems to follow our regulations well enough. You are permitted to continue the expansion of your spaceport within reasonable limits. Well, that's exactly what's on the agenda right now. The Orbital Watch is still threatening the Union trade routes. You have to establish your own shipping docks at the spaceport. All right, so we have the next goal here, breaking the ice. Start upgrading the spaceport in Archea Flows to global spaceport. For that, we do need a population of 50 protectors, though. Not much more going on here right now, since the next major goods that we have in the Neuro Module Factory um, is still a bit Never away there. So conservative. Oh, Come who's she? On, make your voice count. She's from, from the council. So we do have the council on the strategic. Let's go to the space station that we have it. There we have, for example, then the assignment oh, center. Hello. So we can get additional Please, assignments. Um, in that case, there she's, the she is. The and we can vote for decided. one of these factions. You can those decisions. It all depends on who you support. So in that case, whatever I vote today. for, I get the bonuses, or I think I get the bonuses once they win. And let's have a look around. So we have the electronics, the heavy industry, biotech, energy, and agriculture. And I usually go for energy in the beginning because we just need so much of it. And I don't know with the modding though now, we have the solar panels, Satan so I don't think it's necessary anymore. Going with electronics be. is pro uh, agriculture might Satan make more sense sure it since... Hungers. I would like to thank it increases our food production, and we do need lots of that. So we voted for them now and get the bonus. So this one is affected by it. Current effects. In this case here, actually the electronics wins at the moment. All right. So this is the We're still here. Canned food. Oh, it's really down. But I think it's down because of the workforce, the lack of workforce. So we do need more of those dwellers three more here my job and then we can have three more here and as you can see there's not that much space here for those dwellers just along the factory here on either side we can then have a few of them but it's not producing much heat the same goes with the compression chamber so we do actually have a bit of space down here the staff requirements for your spaceport shipping docks should be met by now. Right, so we have everything for this mission. Breaking the ice and attract enough of them. And now we can go back to our spaceport here. It does need some metal foam. Let's start. The climate. Earth barely healed wound. Let's see what happens when I braid it. Warning. Climate stabilizer network producing weather anomalies. External manipulation detected. Systems not responding. Stabilization values approaching critical level. They have the whole climate stabilizer network under their control. You are responsible for this. It's the lunar licensing program that brought those terrorists here. Consider our support suspended and keep out of our affairs. 
Oh no, of course we can't allow that. So once Yo, again we get a fighting mission. Man, we got nothing to counter these attacks. Jorgensen is right. We have to interfere, official admission or not. Enact a hacking counterattack against the Orbital Watch's jamming stations. So in this case here we have actually a choice. Do we want to achieve victory in the mission or do we reach just the next corporate level? We are at the beginning of the corporate level, so we do need a thousand more people. So in that case here, let's rather just go with some fighting, shall we? We do need the mission Quanicut's Conflict Zone. Look, so it's this I'm one. No good with guns. Mind taking the field for me? Let's accept. There. See the mess? Transmitters generating interference all over the place, plus battleships to guard them. I'd like to hear Dr. Maverick explain just how we're supposed to cope with such a force exactly. Glad you're not letting us down here. Long ago, people believed that the moon controlled the weather. We will prove them right. Sure thing, you crazy scientist. You always need a crazy scientist. Underway. Let's have a look at it. Free the climate stabilizers. Three of them. All three of them over here. So it's those guys here. And as we can see, we do have some additional missions here again on the map. I usually am not doing those missions. So we've, we've done them in the previous mission because I just wanted to show them to you. But in, in, in most cases, they just don't offer enough, re enough resources. So we just continue now on our way path here on the main mission that we have that is freeing the climate stabilizers we have to use our items here as well as we can see we have no help this time so no one kills our ships we just need to really destroy everything in range and yeah use the repair then let's also collect the fuel we might need it soon There's an EMP bomb. Oh, and this one here dropped two missile barrages. And a huge explosion. Very nice details here with the waves around it. Copy that. Let's rather repair. repair drones. And then we can continue. Oh, and those are suicide All bombers. Let's try to, to actually... Can we hit the mines there? Yes. So that's easy then. And we should repair, since the suicide bombers, they, well, done quite a damage. Very nice. We can continue, and there we are already with the transmitters. Mm, we don't have a support fleet. This one is doing quite a lot of damage. I don't have to repair right now, so it's actually... We're losing quite a lot of health this time. There it's down. They also drop some rare materials that we can use then. In that case here, Iridium. There is a bit of more fuel. And there is one of the first transmitters. And... Are those guys? Should we do that? Should we do the barrage? No, let's just wait for that. We have enough fuel. Let's repair. First one has been safe. Actually, on this building here, we should use the barrages since they're producing the ships there. Quite a lot of them there too all the time. We have the support fleet. Let's call them in. Three of them, and they can then just attack the. Aren't you biting off just a little more than you can chew? Coordinates confirmed. What? Now they are going to attack any ships in sight. Well, we can continue up here. Probably should not get too close to the mine there. Get the transmitter. Probably we can use a barrage on this one here in the meantime. Doing enough damage there to actually almost destroy it. So for now, of course, those missions are rather easy and you know, not the biggest problem, but they're climbing in difficulty rather quickly. And there we have free destabilizer. Talk about dropping the hammer. And with that, we've reached military level 2. We can now upgrade our first ship here, the Titan, with a thousand credits. You are awesome. We've done that, and we get another of these it's resources just... there that we need. Oh, and as we can see here, we can already see that there's a workforce shortage on, on this map here and the canned food shortage. 
Perhaps they go I hand in hand. I underestimated you. In that My case, apologies. let's get another module here for Be the fishes. Sure and we will support you in your endeavors. And, and let's I'm build sure more. We haven't seen the last of them. But the Global Union will not give in to Drake's demands. The Lunar Licensing Program must continue. We need more workforce because right now a workforce shortage causes all the factories to produce at lower rates, which Morning. of course is a downward spiral. Additional manpower. In that case, yeah, let's squeeze in one here. Never really like the Arctic because you, you are so forced into these heat zones there. I mean, I like it because of the visuals. They are beautiful. Workforce, uh, it's really low there. We still have to go with a few more, but we can barely squeeze them in anywhere here. There we have a bit of more space. Right, and what we could also do is, let's have a look there at the trader oh, that hey. is here. Is he selling anything? Cool. No, he's only offering us the building materials there, nothing else. There are also these sector quests like this one here, but we're not doing them for now. We are quite busy actually with... The orbital watch has occupied islands causing panic. They have occupied Viridian coves. That's interesting, I didn't know that. So we have an invasion here as well on one of our on our main city. Good day to you. Work has started on a project that will lead the way for generations to come. Oh, that's Do a bad you rise moment. To the occasion? So he's just promoting the statue there. But our actual goal is that enemy we have enemy troops here. So what we need to do first, we need to call in the Consumer fleet. For Let's fleet. call the fleet. Got quite a lot of them here. They're occupying it. So for now, no resources go out or in to this sector here. For now, it's not a big problem because we're not really ex exporting or importing anything. But it's going to be a problem later down the road if that would be the case. Then we would have a major problem here. It's a beautiful. Let's actually build some more of these complexes here while I wait for my fleet. I think we could also upgrade those guys here. Since we do have the resources. So the fleet is arriving or has arrived no idea where they are though down there so that is my fleet with an upgraded titan here which is a bit stronger now let's get up there there we got the first ships and it's just like a battle mission now we do once again have the items here that we can use Clear the action action. points and what do we need to do 15 of those ships need to be destroyed as you can see they're doing quite a lot of damage it would be interesting to know if what happens if i fail i think there's a cooldown on the fleet which just prolongs the amount of time that I cannot use them on our way. or that sector here. Getting a bit of fuel is important because two of those ships are quite down. We're it's just five. a battle in front of our city now. Who would have, who would have thought? Well, let's use the repair there soon now. Another ship is down. There are Underway. three patrols. Could also focus on more a bit of the, on the smaller ships there. So it's not all of the ships that we need to destroy. Just 15 of them. So getting the smaller ones is... Speeding the whole thing up there a bit. Oh, those are actually suicide ones again. After a little bit of time, it's two more ships that I need to destroy. The, those patrols here might be fine. So it's really just, you know, grinding out those ships there. Here we get closer. Let's activate a shield. Kind of like a bit too late. You, well, swam out of it. I wouldn't feel too safe just yet. Right. And he's fought off. So he's leaving the sector now. Perhaps we can take down this ship there. Fine. Good. Coordinates confirmed. That's it. My fleet will then disband. I think we can then kind of get rid of them. Or they're just going away then at some point. Right. So that's that. Now we can finalize this spaceport in the Arctic. For specific commodities. Back in the Arctic, there is our spaceport. 
The orbital watch presents a greater threat than we And thought. now we have the elevator Drake here as well. Secret supporters. It's essential the Union shows a strong presence on the moon. And to make this possible, we need you to send a fleet of colony shuttles up there. Time to conduct some space technology research. Right, so research would be the next one. We need to attract scientists in the Arctic. And that's a whole lot of new challenges awaiting us there. Stay tuned. Expansion of workforce recommended. 